In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the device panel. The device panel appears under the device manager button on the left side of the EcoSmart Live desktop. In the device panel, the aquarium that you're currently working on, or the group of lights, will be listed at the top in dark blue. In this case, we're working on the reef tank, which we set up earlier. You can change the name of this group or this tank name by simply double clicking on it and entering a new name. You can also change the name of the lights simply by clicking on the lights, any individual lights, in this case our only light, and changing the name. Once you make a change, simply click OK and the change will be reflected. Any lights that are currently connected and which are listed in your existing group will appear here under the topic heading Radeon Lights. You can't change this name because this is indicating that they're Radeon Lights. The only other two buttons that are immediately visible other than the buttons under the light are Program and Identify. Clicking Program will cause all of the devices currently in your group to be programmed Clicking Identify will cause any lights in that group, in this case there's only one light in the reef tank, to flash. That will indicate that those are the lights which are currently part of that group. Under the Radeon, there's three buttons, two of which you can click on. The leftmost button is the Information button. This will show you all of the information related to that particular Radeon light. As you can see, the serial number is available, as are all of the other pieces of information with respect to the current bootloader version, the operating system, the RF frequency, whether or not the buttons are enabled, whether the RF is enabled, and also whether you are currently running the acclimate or lunar phase features. The second button, which looks like a cog, provides you with a number of light-specific functions. The Program Schedule button will load the existing program onto your Radeon light. Factory Reset will reset the Radeon to its specific settings. Firmware Update will force a firmware update on the light from the current version of the Connection Manager, which you have downloaded. Calibrate allows you to calibrate your lights. This is important, especially if you have several lights, to make sure that the output is exactly the same. Radeon buttons enabled in this radio box. If you uncheck the box, now the CapSense buttons on the top of your fixture will be disabled. Clicking on it will enable the buttons. If the check mark is visible, if the check mark is not visible, the buttons are disabled. You may wish to disable your CapSense buttons if your aquarium has a lot of traffic where people may come and press buttons or if you are mounting your radions in such a way that there is something on top of the cap sense buttons which might interfere with them. The third button is the radion status button. This is the rightmost button and will appear either green or red. If it appears green, it indicates that your radion is currently running the most up-to-date version of the firmware and that it's currently connected to EcoSmart Live. If this button is red, it indicates that your Radeon needs a firmware update. If your Radeon is grayed out, that means that your Radeon is not currently connected to your EcoSmart Live profile. That's it. As you can see, everything in the device panel is fairly straightforward and easily understood. This has been Understanding the Device Manager Panel.